Well, I tell you, keeping up with their food <laughs> supply, it is kind of hitting the pocket. It ain't no kind of, it is hitting the pocket. Right now, they're very content eating beef rib bones. I had to buy ribs just for them so they could have some bones. And they chew on those bones daily. So that was a good investment though. Beef rib bones. And Hatchet has his bone as well. Hatchet that bone good? They ain't paying me no attention. They ate about an hour ago. Hatchet hadn't touched his food at all. So he'll eat whenever he ready, but he chowing down on that bone, I tell you that much. It's a very rainy day. It's been raining all morning, and it's going on about 10 o'clock. But the puppies and I, were seeming to start to get along. Wherever they come from, they seem to have had maybe some very traumatized moments because they scream and holler at the slightest thing. And outside of me not trying to hurt them, they offend, they hurt my feelings because they go to screaming and hollering like I'm murdering them. But I think they're coming out of that. So, um, yeah, they coming out of that, but when they get loose outside in the back, I catch a very hard time trying to get them back in because they're every now and then they don't want to come to me because they think I'm going to hurt them. But, um, they're starting to get used to the different, uh, commands and gestures and sounds of my voice, the loudness, the sternness. They're starting to get used to things. And my sadness about keeping them confined in this uh, contraption that I built, I really can't let them loose. Because for one, I don't want Hatchet to feel overwhelmed with all of them in here. And... I still don't trust them yet as far as letting them loose in the house. Each one of y'all have a bone. But um, I really would like them to get to the point where I can let them uh, loose in the house so they can know their designated areas which they, they, they basically do because they still don't come into my bathroom. I won't make that mistake again by having them locked in the bathroom when I leave the house. So that's what that contraption uh, is for. So when I leave the house, they could be inside of there. But um, look at him. But... The uh, <laughs> you got your butt tooted up, Azariah, eating your bone. Azariah, you too. <laughs> Azariah, tooty booty. <laughs> she got her butt tooted up, eating her bone. That's cute. But um, yeah, they know that. What? Good Daniel, why did you go over there and take her bone? Now she got his bone. Oh boy, I tell you. Swapping bones. But again, they I want to get them to the point where they could be freely to be in the house. And especially when I leave, they will be put in their areas. But right now, I don't want to put them in the house because I, I need them 
a hatchet to get used to them being around him. And by them being outside playing together, they're getting more adapted to each other. Well, rather, hatchet is getting more adapted to the puppies. And then I'll be able to let them be around each other constantly. Hatchet still goes with me basically everywhere I go. And the puppies, not yet because they have to be trained as far as releasing themselves, pee-peeing and boo-booing. I don't know what's going on with that. But I've made them a padded area. That area, padded area, is, has been there since I put them in their confined, confined area. And now they're starting to chew it to pieces. So I do have another board over here ready for when I get ready to replace that. And I'm not going to replace it until it's basically they sleeping on the cement because they got to realize you tearing up your own bed. And so, but um, they do use the bathroom over there in that section right there. And I come in and out that door from the living room. I go through this area here. And it goes around to that where they are. So I could go to the uh, outside through this way. But, uh, yeah, things are coming along well. Regarding my siblings, my chilling, my puppies, my doggies. Hatchet, you enjoyed the bone? You enjoyed that bone? You enjoyed your bone? And Azariah, Hannah, Dania, y'all enjoy your bone? Y'all enjoy your bone? Daniel. Azariah, Hannah, that's Hannah, that's Azariah, and Daniel ain't studying me, he's chowing down on his bone. But everybody have a blessed day.